subscribe, like, and share this video content. It is challenging to save, while paying off debt. Should paying off debt be a priority, rather than saving? Since 2020, we have seen household debt, climb to its highest level in 16 years. Let's explore these two factors, and consider which is more important. The general rule of thumb is to do both, pay off debt, while building your emergency savings. Waiting to pay off debt, before saving for emergencies or even retirement, will leave you unprepared when it comes to building your retirement nest egg. Practice taking discretionary funds out of every paycheck right away versus what's left at the end of the month. Discretionary spending, is the amount of money you can set aside each month, beyond your living expenses. Establish a savings mindset, rather than buying whatever you want every month, which will benefit you in the long term. Some certified financial planners, recommend a variation of strategies. Pay the minimum on credit cards until you've built a solid savings cushion. Starting an automatic deduction of $5, $10, $15, or $20 from your paycheck and sending it to a savings account helps to establish that mindset. While it is a small amount, you are creating good saving habits which makes you save. As you get more comfortable with balancing spending and saving, you can increase the transfer amounts to your savings account. Eventually you should invest your savings in a Canadian RRSP account, or a US 401k. The stock market since 2018, has returned at least 7-10% to in earnings. Missing out on one or two great years, could make a big difference in how much you can accumulate, in total savings and investments. How to prioritize saving money or paying off debt There is no one solution for everyone. It depends on everybody's individual goals, and circumstances. A secure or non-secure job, will have a tremendous influence, on how fast you can pay off debt. If you are paying down debt while a layoff happens, you will not have any money saved, which will lead to more credit card use. If you have savings, it can help with minimizing credit card use, in the case of a layoff, or shutdown. Having some savings gives you the freedom and peace of mind, when hunting for a new job. Money managers suggest the following formula, as a rule of thumb for how to use when you've already got some savings. 30% for needs, for example, repairing your car, 25% for paying down debt, 20% for savings, 15% for long-term investment, and 10% for fund spending. However, if you have no emergency fund, consider this formula. 35% for emergency savings, 30% for needs, 25% for paying down debt, and 10% for fun. Rules of thumb, are general guidelines, that might not work for everyone. Always pay at least your minimum debt payment, and put something towards savings monthly, even if it is a small amount. For long-term financial health, establishing habits around debt payoff and saving money must be done simultaneously. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share this video. And hit the notification bell, to alert you for more videos.